How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Happy Monday, another week, new opportunities, so let's get it. Today's word of the day is duck. Stands for durable, closely woven cotton fabric, uh, clothing made of uh, duck, white trousers, and things of that nature. And I chose this word today because um, regardless of what fabric you're made of in life, because we're all, you know, you know, human chromosomes, you know, we're made up of, for the most part, the same things. But um, when I talk about the fabric, I'm talking about your personality of your being and how you live and who you interact with, how you look at the world and your, your perspective. That is just very important. All right, that is very important. And unfortunately, one of the biggest problems um, that standardized education does and society does is they do a great job of trying to turn you into something that you're not. They try to make you a conformist. Now, when I say conformist, I'm not talking about being a law-abiding citizen. There's no, I want everybody to be a law-abiding citizen. But when I say being a conformist, I'm talking about living a life that you have to take a vacation from or living a life based on the standards of what others deem durable. Everybody has their own standards, you know. And my mindset is happiness is happiness. You find it how you find it. And if you can find it and it's not hurting anybody, it's not breaking any laws, then go for it. That's my mindset, you know. Um, your lifestyle is your lifestyle as long as it's not hurting people and it's not breaking any laws then go for it because at the end of the day um, when you meet your maker when you, you're on your deathbed because you know there's always there's a everybody knows the end of the story of life is you know is death so you got you have to ask yourself the questions did I did I live life on my own terms or did I live life on society's terms did I um, have the best one or did I have the one that was you know standardized and conform to what other people, you know, deem durable and whatnot, deem, deemed um, acceptable. You know, that those are the questions you have to ask and answer yourself because I can't do it for you. I know when my time comes, I'm going to be like, you know what, Larry, you did it, you gave it your all you and you, you worked your hardest to not only make money moves, but you worked your hardest to live life on your own terms and whatnot and not what others deemed um, acceptable, et cetera and so forth. Because I, I remember that was one thing um, in high school and even like when I whenever I tried to fit in, it never never um, took with my fancy. It didn't it didn't didn't feed my um, enthusiasm in life, uh, even in you know various jobs I've had. Whenever I tried to fit in. Because that's a normal thing to want to fit in and whatnot. You get a job, um, you, you're at school, you know, you want to have a clique of people. Whenever you try to fit in, I tried to fit in. It never worked out. So it's just like at the end of the day. I gotta be me because I can only be the best me that I can be. Those that, that understand it and care for it, cool. But those that don't, have a nice life, you know? My mind, because my mindset is like, I'm even with people that I, you know, could not stand to be around, I'm not gonna argue with you, I'm just not gonna be around you. And if I have to be around you, nine times out of 10, there's some money involved. So I'm gonna act respectable and professional and act accordingly. There's gonna, like I said, there's some money involved. But uh, if there's not any money involved, whether you're family or not, then I just won't be around you. It's literally that simple. So that's the beautiful thing about getting older. You don't have to be around unless it's business related or work related. You shouldn't, you know, or an emergency situation. You really shouldn't have to be around people you don't want to be around because that don't that don't help feed your energy and bring positivity to your soul, have anything to do with your goals. They're not goal, goal oriented. So they're always gossiping and talking about nonsense that has nothing to do with progression. You know, and they're always, 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 always feeding into the media nonsense that takes place in this world. To me, those people aren't even worth, you know, being around and aren't even worth even talking about, you know, but that's just my personal opinion. I'll leave it at that. All right. So do the great deal free things. Like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out the online store my, uh, in the description. And if you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, think about signing up with Acorn Stash, Crypto.com, Coinbase, um, Weeble and all that great stuff. And as always say, make money move. I was going to live like a fool. Take care, fam.